So, Yordina Sugaz defeats Manny Pacquiao in a 12 round uncompetitive fight. Rather than sad to watch. Uh, let's get into it real quick. Um, so, Yordina Sugaz is really now, you can really call him an official WBA super welterweight champion after really defeating Manny Pacquiao for the belt that he was in recess uh, with. Um, from the beginning round, Manny Pacquiao, uh, he got off first. But let me let me say this, though. Um, I had said in some videos that I thought that Ugas was going to get robbed. I said I thought Ugas was going to get robbed, and I said either it was going to be Ugas was going to do really good and get robbed or pack it or he was gonna <clears throat> or he was gonna um or it's gonna be really close like it was gonna be neck and neck and then old guys was gonna get robbed none of those things happened which i'm happy boxing came through this time and got it right back to the fight uh first round on um Man, it was almost a shutout, man. Um, Pacquiao had a few rounds. I gave him a few. Maybe like two. Gave him like maybe two, maybe three, man. Uh, he was missing a lot of his shots, man. He was slow. He was off balance. He just didn't look. He just looked a shot, bro. Like a shot fighter. I mean, you know, a lot of people gave Manny a chance against arrow even me i had said man maybe maybe uh manny will give arrow some issues do i still believe that um i don't know styles make fights your dinas who guys surprise a lot of people your dinas who guys and arrow spence styles are totally different all guys is much more patient it's calculated he kind of he won't walk you down and cut the ring off as much man but uh after seeing Manny lose like that to Ugas and get punched up and boxed up, that was surprising to me, bro. It threw me off. And, you know, I thought Manny was going to outbox Ugas. But then again, I said it was a chance that Ugas probably, you know, he could probably look good in this fight. And Ugas boxed great. Uh, that jab was just fucking giving Manny all kind of problems, man. I mean, Jinky, man, you look over at, at Jinky Pacquiao, man, she was just looking like, she knew, you know, she's always there when he fights, man. When he got knocked out by Marquez, man, she was bawling, crying. It's a true woman right there, man. True woman. And um, I know she she was, it was sad for her to see Manny go out like that, you know. Um, But it's still kind of like a moral victory for Manny in a way because he survived it, man. He survived it, didn't get knocked out, didn't look hurt. But that's because Udinus Ugas is not really known for his power. I mean, he only has 12 knockouts. So, he's not a real power puncher like that, man. So, Manny has a great chin. He fought. He fought his heart out, gave everything he had. Ugas was just too much for him. He couldn't He couldn't get around that jab. The jab was just giving him trouble the whole fight. And, uh... Many think Manny Pacquiao is, is, is it. Many think he's going to retire. Uh, and Errol and Terrence Crawford, they missed out on this fight. Very strange turn of events, man. You know, Yordini Su guys, man, he's one of those dudes. I think he really deserved it, man, because he, you know, was very underrated. And a lot of people counted him out. You know, he wasn't really making that much noise in boxing, man. His career probably wasn't going the way he wanted it to go. And, and look at the blessing that fell upon U guys, man. You know, just like that. You know, um, and now he got a big, nice bag, man. And and that's good. Always good to get the bag. But uh, I'll be honest. I'll say this, man. I'll eat some crow. I think if Arrow, if that was Arrow, Arrow probably would have stopped him, man. Probably hurt him bad and probably stopped him in, within like six, seven rounds. Because uh, Ogar just didn't have no, he, he's not a pressure, pressure fighter. If he would have pulled on some pressure, he probably could have, I don't know if he could have got him out of there, but he kind of he could have hurt him a little bit. It didn't look like Manny was really hurt. He just was shell-shocked. He just was hesitant. You know, he was trying his best. He just couldn't, 
he, you know, he couldn't find that groove, you know. And um, still shout out to Manny Pacquiao. Shout out to Jordanis, Jordanis Ugas for doing this thing, styling. He styled on He styled last night, man. He did his thing. Uh, well, so what's next for Ugas? Um, he called out Errol Spence. Um, but I'll get into that in another video. Uh, what's next for Pacquiao? Um, be honest, bro. I just think he needs to just hang it up, bro. Or if he does fight, man, you know, maybe, you know, fight Floyd again or something. I I, I don't know, but I don't want to see Pacquiao back in the pro ring again, man. I mean, that's, I seen all I needed to see. He gave us many great years of boxing. He, it's time to hang it up, man. His wife wants him to hang it up. You know, it's time. It's time, man. So, Ugas is in the mix. And I know he was going to be in the mix somewhere. But it's you might as well just say these four dudes, it's going to really come down to these four guys right here. Sean Porter, Jordanus Ugas. Errol Spence Jr. and Terrence Crawford. So what just happened um, with the Pacquiao fight that moves us, it should move us a step closer to a Terrence Crawford versus Errol Spence fight. Now, it's, there's a huge question mark now because we don't know when Errol's even coming back. We don't know the time frame. They're saying the eye is worse than what was led on to think, to believe, and... and you know, it could be a year. It could be a year, or maybe a little longer than before we see Arrow back in the ring. Who knows? Um, I don't want to rush him back in the ring. You know, see him get his eye hurt, and if he fights uh, Ugas and, and gets his eye uh, damaged fully, and then he goes blind. I don't want to see that. I'd like to see him at 100%, especially if he fights Bud at 147. That's one of his last fights. I don't want, you know, I don't want it to be any, you know, but if Terrence Crawford wins, I don't want everybody saying, well, you know, he beat, he beat Arrow because Arrow was, you know, his eye injuries and all this other stuff. So, you know, I wanted, I want both those fighters to be in tip top shape, you know, before they step in the ring, man, with each other. But, who guys is the man right now, man. A lot of, a lot of buzz, everything. So. It's only right we should get Errol Spence versus your Dina Zoo guys next. But the problem is, you know, who's going to wait around on Errol, man? And what if Errol's gone for a year or two? They're going to probably strip Errol of the belts. And then somebody else going to fight for the belts. Probably end up being like a Jerron Boots in it. So like a Virgil Ortiz or somebody like that. Who knows? And then Bud. You know, if Arrow doesn't come back in time, but you know, maybe he'll move up to 154. Maybe meet Arrow up there. I don't, I don't mind seeing it at 154, man. That, that's they're both closer than to their natural weight. Only reason I wanted to see it at 147 more is because, you know, these dudes are the belt holders, and I wanted to see somebody become undisputed. You know, but you know, it's boxing. Things happen. Sometimes we don't. Things don't happen. They don't plan. They don't go as planned. And as we've seen recent events unfold with Errol Spence and everything, you see how true that is. And it should be a lesson, too. You know, these fighters need to stop stalling these fights. Like I said a few videos back, because when you stall these fights, man, shit happens. And it throws off everything. It throws off a lot of the momentum with fights. And, you know, but I'm glad Pacquiao got out with his health and... I'm glad, uh, I'm glad, um, Ugas got out with his health and he got a good bag to feed his family, he blessed, and I'm off this, man, let me know what you thought about this fight, like, subscribe, catch you guys later on the next one, peace.